Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at KDE 6. And essentially there's three, there's, there's really three variants of Linux, right? You've got your Debian, your Fedora, your Rail, Red Hat, whatever you want to call it. And then your Arch, those are the three main ones. And I'll show you how to get KDE on Debian. And then we're going to be doing Fedora in the video. And then I'll also show you what it takes to get this in Arch. But um, yeah, and if when we get started here, you'll notice KDE Plasma 6.0 RC1. RC2 is out. Um, so I either need to get an updated ISO or what we can do is we'll just go ahead and install this. We'll just run through the installer here. This is actually the welcome to KDE. So we'll get that out of the way and kick off the install. But I'm hoping after this gets installed and we do updates, um, we actually pull down the RC2 because that's actually out now. All right, so we'll just go English, English, proceed. Click on a hard drive, free up space, done. And delete all, reclaim. And that's gonna take care of partitioning our hard drive. And then we'll go ahead and enable root, put in a super secret password for that. And you'd want SSH in case you had like an NVIDIA driver or something. You can enable SSH and if you're having issues with drivers, you could actually SSH into the machine. If you couldn't get into the desktop environment for whatever reason, you could allow SSH and then SSH into your machine from another computer and then fix whatever's causing the problem, right? If it's an NVIDIA driver, you could run the NVIDIA drivers from TTL and then you'd be able to get into the machine. But there's multiple reasons you'd want SSH. If you were doing like a web server or something, you could do that too. Um, we'll leave it unchecked. Press done again. Yeah, the password's too small. But it's our super secret password, so it's all right. All right put in a username here. And put in our super secret password again. Begin installation. All right, so nothing special here. I'll go ahead and speed this portion of the video up and then I'll see you on the first login. All right, and it does look like we got to RC2 after the updates. So I signed in, I ran the updates off camera and I log back in, I'm greeted with this RC2 screen. So hit okay on that. Let's see if there's any more updates real quick. Up to date. All right. All right, let's take a look at the new panel. So if we right click on the panel and go into edit mode. There is this new positions where if you click on that, it brings up these arrows so you could move the bar to the top. Click on click on the uh, set position again. You can go left and right. But we'll stick with the bottom. You can also align it to the center, left or right. So if we left align center and right and then the full length fit the content or custom always visible auto hide dodge windows window goes below opacity opaque or translucent we'll just leave it on adaptive and you can have it floating or you can have it docked at the bottom the floating has been there for a while, but now it's just default in KDE 6. All right, let's open some new workspaces. So if we do super W, we can add a workspace here. 
And we can open Firefox on that one. You can also see in the panel down here, you've got desktop one and desktop two. We could switch back or super W. You can see our workspace there and then our original. That's workspaces. All right, and let's take a look at a NeoFetch. So we'll bring up the terminal, NeoFetch. And this is Fedora Rawhide. So it says Fedora Linux 40, but it's just the Rawhide image. Kernel 6.8. We've got 2151 RPM packages. And it do, the uh, NeoFetch does show that it's Plasma 5.93, but you can see that we're Plasma 6.0 release candidate 2. And uh, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the memory usage. in the terminals console, of course, because we're using KDE. All right, let's go into system settings. We'll scroll down about this system. Again, Fedora 40, it's the raw hat image. It's saying 5.93, but we are on release candidate two. Here's QT version 6.6.1, kernel version 6.8. And um, starting with KDE 6, Pla uh, Wayland will be default for Plasma. This is really cool. And then if we wanna go up here, colors and themes. We could switch to dark if you'd like. If you go to color, there's different accents that you can use. You can have it pick a color from the wallpaper or you can pick one. Uh, so we'll go with like a blue or a green. Hit apply. And let's go back and see what new wallpapers come with this. Go out here. The only new one that I see is this scarlet tree, which if I minimize this, that's what that looks like. It's pretty cool. And if we wanted to go into like themes, cursors, and we can get a new one. This is where you could search for the by beta. If you like the cursor that Linux Mint comes with, here we go. So let's click on install, install. Let that go grab it and download it for us. And we can close out of here. That's the one I'm looking for. There we go. So now we've got our nice cursor. That's something that you wanted to do to kind of customize your KDE 6. Now we'll check out what's new in Discover. And we'll just, we normally search for Inkscape, so we'll keep that going. Just click on Inkscape. You click on that. It's got the title, the version, the size, the license information, a nice little gallery, what permissions Inkscape needs, and then a description documentation, their website, and if you wanted to share this with your friends. What's new, it's got the version number, and then kind of a mini release note. And then a five star system, you can donate, report a bug, and contribute. So pretty cool. And then uh, top right, you can click on this. You can either get this as an RPM package from Fedora, or you can download the flat pack version. So very cool, nice integration there. And this is going to be released at the end of the month, but if you wanted to test it now, uh, like I said, I'm on Fedora Rawhide, but if you wanted to go grab KDE Neon, that's actually the distro where all the changes to KDE, if you wanted to like stay up to date with that, the KDE Neon distro is probably a, a good distro for you. Uh, but to test KDE 6, you just want to get this unstable edition here. Don't recommend putting this on a production machine, but if you're just wanting to test KDE 6, that's a great way to do it. Or you can grab Fedora Rawhide, which is what I have. And then you can also do this in Arch. I said I was gonna show you how to do that, but the instructions that I had used previously, they're saying not to do that anymore. So if anybody's interested, leave it in the comments and I will find out how to do that from Arch. Uh, there was a KDE Unstable you would add to a config file 
Um, but yeah, the article saying not to do that now. So just let me know if that's something you want. I'll, uh, I'll throw it in the comments. And that's going to do it for today's video. Here are some videos you may find helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.